how to groom and hygiene your dog on a budget. Introduction Nearly as much as they adore us, our dogs adore the dirt and mud. For both their health and your sanity, proper grooming and bathing are crucial because they will bounce around and get dirty at any opportunity. There is nothing better than cuddling up to a clean, fresh puppy, but it is not always simple to get them that way. Regularly taking your dog to the groomer can become costly and even stressful if you don't feel comfortable leaving your dog in their care. There are certain important considerations to keep in mind if you wanted to groom your dog at home to save money. More than just making sure they smell good and don't track paw prints all over your home are important aspects of keeping your dog clean. A routine can help minimize shedding, scratching, and discomfort in dogs and is essential to their health. The best thing you can do for your dog is to have a routine that they can count on. Create a routine that you follow when putting your child to bed. By following the same procedures each time before you groom your dog, you can get them ready for bath time. This is a crucial step for both you and the prospective groomer who will eventually take over because not every dog is the same and won't respond well to the thought of brushing or bathing. In order to keep a gorgeous and healthy coat, grooming is crucial for your dog's health. If your dog suffers from allergies or discomfort due to indoor or outdoor allergens, regular bathing is beneficial. Your dog will feel and look his best with proper grooming. Regular grooming appointments also provide you a chance to check your dog's coat, teeth, eyes, ears, and nails for any indications of health issues. The size, breed, and kind of coat of your dog will determine how frequently you should groom him. While good grooming and hygiene practices are necessary for a healthy dog, Unlike humans, the majority of dogs do not require such practices on a daily basis. The breed will determine what is needed and how frequently. While some breeds, like the Afghan Hound, Poodle, and Commander, give a little more latitude in the grooming department, others, like the Beagle, Weimaraner, and Boxer, dim and routine grooming but are unquestionably worth the effort. Regardless of the breed, hygiene practices including brushing, ear cleaning, nail clipping, and teeth brushing are unquestionably an important part of routine dog care. You may be sure that your dog is in good hands because professional dog groomers, professional dog handlers, and some veterinary technicians have received thorough training in grooming. To keep their pets looking sharp between trips to the groomer, owners might benefit from learning maintenance grooming. In this video, we are going to talk about how to groom and hygiene your dog at home. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Preparation You wouldn't engage in combat without the appropriate tools, so don't attack your dog without them either. If you don't have the proper grooming equipment for your particular dog, not only will the work be harder, but you also run the risk of injuring them. You should make sure you have the appropriate brushes because dogs have a wide variety of hair types. For the majority of hair types, bristle brushes perform best, therefore they should function okay. Wire pin brushes are necessary to help break mats in dogs with long hair. You might also get a mat breaker or rake to help remove the mats if your puppy has more serious ones. Making the process of trimming your dog's nails as easy as you can help reduce the tension involved. Consider your options and make sure you have the appropriate size of nail clippers for your breed. Another crucial instrument that needs a great deal of care is shampoo. You cannot skimp on this, so educate yourself on the many types of dog shampoo by reading up on it. Different shampoos are needed for different hair types, and some dogs need conditioner, while others have allergies. One of the most crucial tools to consider when grooming your dog is a shampoo that works best for your dog. Brushing The typical dog may be kept tidy and clean with a few weekly brushing sessions, but daily attention is preferable. Brush down to the skin's surface, allowing the massaging action to promote blood circulation and loosen and get rid of dandruff particles. The length and texture of your dog's coat will determine the type of equipment you need. Pin brushes, which have long, round-ended pins made of stainless steel or chrome plating, are necessary for long-haired dogs. Breeds with short, medium, and lengthy coats require bristle brushes. Other grooming tools include clippers, stripping knives, rakes, hair dryers, rubber curry combs for polishing smooth coats and removing dead hair, and slicker brushes for eliminating mats and dead hair. Always look for burrs and other tenacious plant matter, mats, which commonly develop behind the ears and under the legs, as well as any scratches or scrapes on the skin itself before brushing. Although all dogs sweat, some do it more frequently than others. The control of shedding can be improved with routine brushing. After brushing and washing your dog, 
you should consider giving her a trim. If so, Easton advised using extreme caution when using scissors and using the appropriate tools. Easton advocates investing in a grooming table that your dog can be fastened to while getting her haircut, as well as utilizing professional shears or clippers, and advises using a no. 10. Cutting Blade To avoid accidentally cutting your dog if she moves quickly, Benish advised always beginning with a dry, clean dog and only trimming the tips of sharp shears on your dog's feet, face, and tail. Always have your other hand on the margins of the ears so you know where you are simply cutting the hair. Benish advised the woman when trimming her ears. Never attempt to cut your dog's matted fur with scissors. Always use clippers. Bathing. Depending on the breed and coat of your dog, regular but not frequent baths are advised. Too many washings strip the coat of its natural oils, making it rough and dry. Whenever necessary, apply a gentle dog shampoo. Put cotton balls in the dog's ears and a few drops of mineral oil in his eyes while he is standing in a tub or basin. Apply shampoo starting from the neck and back after wetting the dog with warm water. After cleansing and washing, properly rinse your dog with warm water. If required, blow dry after vigorously rubbing with a towel he'll assist you with vigorous shaking. Brush or comb as necessary. Trimming. To maintain the health of the foot, nails must be kept short. The dog's gait is hampered by long nails, which might hurt or be uncomfortable for the animal. They are also easily breakable. Since blood vessels and nerves are located at the base of the nail, this typically results in a trip to the vet. The nails are too long if you can hear them clicking on the floor. Use a nail clipper that has been specially made to trim your dog's nails. To stop you from cutting your pet's nails too short, most contain safety shields. Before the quick, which is a blood artery inside the nail, you just want to clip the ends. On a white nail, the quick can be seen. On a black nail, it cannot. Only cut off the downward-facing, hook-like portion of the nail. Many dogs detest getting their nails cut. By accustoming your dog to having his feet handled since he is a puppy, you may make the treatment painless. Your dog will learn that you won't injure him if you begin clipping lightly, one or two nails at a time. Use some styptic powder to halt the bleeding if you accidentally cut the quick. If you are unable to trim your dog's nails, take him to a groomer or veterinarian. Conclusion Your dog will benefit much from grooming. As a result, it shouldn't be thought of as just for aesthetic purposes because it also has numerous health advantages for your dog. Regular grooming will keep your dog strong and healthy, as well as ensure that his skin can breathe and stays in good shape. With our increasingly hectic lives, routine tasks like dog grooming may feel like a chore. You might even believe that because your pet's coat appears to be in good condition, grooming them isn't a huge concern. However, grooming your dog at home has advantages for both you and your pet. The frequency of dog grooming varies depending on the breed, and it goes beyond a shirt pass with a brush. In addition to brushing and bathing your dog's hair to bring out its natural shine, grooming can take many different forms, such as trimming your dog's nails to the ideal length, brushing their teeth for a healthy grin, wiping their ears and eyes so they can view the world pleasantly. Discover the advantages of grooming your best buddy at home and how to maintain their best appearance and well-being in between trips to your pet the groomer. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to tear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.